Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Allie. Today I have my Shop My Stash update for July and my Shop My Stash for August. I do my monthly beauty favorites at the beginning of the month. Usually I try to, so I think I'm gonna keep my Shop My Stash like in the middle of the month, if you guys don't mind. Um, and then I'll just use like whatever products I pick for that month until I get to the mid of the next month, if that makes any sense. But I'll still call it like by month so I wanted to go over products from July and let you guys know how I did. Some of them I did really good, other ones like... Um, I feel like I'm gonna get better and better at this because I just have recently went through like a spell where I was barely filming at all and then it picked up and I started filming a lot but I mix up my products so much that it's like... I don't know how much I'll be able to use of each one of these, you know? So I'm gonna still try to aim for using the picks that I, the ones that I pick out, I want to aim for at least using them twice throughout the month. I think that's a good enough number, um, especially for months where I'm not filming that much. So the first product from my July was the Tarte Primer. This guy right here, this is the Clean Slate Timeless Smoothing Primer. And I did use this twice. I used it in two Makeup Mondays. I do Makeup Monday on my Instagram and my Instagram stories. So, and then I later on share them to my IGTV. So you guys can see them there. I edit them, throw them in IGTV so that they're always saved for anybody who may have missed them. So you guys can go check them out. Uh, my Instagram I throw up on the screen at the beginning of every video. But uh, yeah, I use this in two different ones. I use this in my I Love Sarah E look that I did with that ColourPop palette. And I also used it in the Makeup Monday that I used the IBY Beauty City Lights um, palette. So I have used this twice. I'm still just not a huge fan of it. I feel like I'm going to have to end up decluttering it before I even use all of it because I'm just not like, I don't know. It's not really a primer for me. Also, side note, elephant in the room, this look, bold, I know. It was a fairies collab. We posted it last week. So if you guys missed it, make sure you jump over and check it out. I'll link it right up here above. You can watch how I created this look and make sure you guys go check out the other beautiful ladies who did uh, fairy looks as well. But moving on, we have the Butter London Double Decker Mascara. I did use this twice. Sorry, I have my computer notes over here, uh, my laptop set up over here, so I'm going to be kind of like going back and forth. Um, I used this twice. I used this in my Allie and AJ inspo look, and I also used this in my Makeup Monday that I did with the Urban Decay Naked Heat Palette, um, which is also in this. And <laughs> uh, the I Love Sarah E one is too. But this one is going straight to my empties. I used it in both looks and I struggled with both looks because it is just about dried out. So, yep, it's time to say goodbye to this, but I did use it twice. The It Cosmetics Brow Pencil Universal Taupe Shade um, I used in my Urban Decay Heat Makeup Monday as well. And I also used it in my Aquamarine Gemstone look. I now have my Gemstone series on my blog. I will link that down below in the description box for you guys, but I will have another Gemstone look coming this Friday. I can't remember when I'm posting this video, but it'll be coming this Friday. But I used this in my Aquamarine look as well as that Makeup Monday with the Urban Decay Heat. So I did use it twice as well. Pretty proud of myself. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and link my monthly beauty favorites as well if you guys want to check it out after this video because this one actually made it to my favorites. I love this palette and I don't see myself putting this down anytime soon. Um, I'm glad I put it in my Shop My Stash because it really made me start using it. And I mentioned it in my favorites. By the way, this is the Tarte Cosmetics Park Avenue Princess palette. Um, I used to use the shade Angle, but I've been using this shade called Princess Cut. Um, since putting this in my shop my stash and now I'm obsessed with this palette. I Have used it more than two times I just forgot to write down the other looks that I use this with they even maybe looks that are coming still that are pre-recorded um, But I did use this in my Lion Kings collab With the same beautiful ladies that I did this collab with um, and also 
uh, my KKW Beauty Mrs. West, that collection and first impressions video I did, I was also wearing this palette in that video as well. Be Fearless, Be Limitless Real Her Blush has, it's like a blush kit that has the three. This is a super intimidating blush palette. It is very bold and vibrant, um, but I did end up using it twice. I used this in the Lion King's collab. It was perfect for that. I believe I used this middle shade in that one, and then I mixed this shade and this shade, the two outer shades for my aquamarine gemstone look. This beauty right here is the LA Splash Lumos Highlighting Palette. I'm wearing it today. <laughs> I am wearing the shade Illuminate today on my face. That is what's making my skin just like glow and pop today. I am obsessed with this palette too. Um, I was going to put this in my favorites, completely slipped my mind, but I'm sure I'm going to be using this all August as well. Um, but yeah, I also use this in my Makeup Monday uh, with the ColourPop I Love Sarah E um, little IG stories moment too. And I believe I mixed, I really like to mix Illuminate and Lumos, uh, those two middle ones together those two, but today I'm just using Illuminate because I wanted more of the light gold moment and I really, really like it. The next one is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow Foundation. I use this in my Gemstone Aquamarine blog as well as Urban Decay Naked Heat Makeup Monday. You guys are gonna like, this is gonna be a little repetitive because the days where I was like, shoot, I have a shot my stash, I need to be using those, I would try to take like a few things out for each one of those looks. So that's why you're gonna hear some of the same looks like over and over because there's usually those days that I'm like, oh, I need to be using some of that stuff. <laughs> um, nothing wrong with that though. But I do really like this foundation still. Um, I've been trying to use some like fake tan lately so it's a little like bright on me because of that whenever I did use it. So I'm going to hold off for a little bit but I really do want to finish this up this year because it needs it. It really needs to be pitched soon. So um, yeah, I might put this in a future shot my stash. This I'm obsessed with now. I don't know why I hated it back in the day but this is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser. Um, I'm loving it now. The two looks that I know I used it in was the KKW uh, Beauty Mrs. West collection and also today I'm wearing it. I think I used it in another look as well but I just cannot remember what look it was but yeah I am absolutely loving this. It is like a it's not like too dark, but it still is like a deeper shade for my skin. It's more of like a concealer that matches my skin instead of a brightening one. So um, when I'm fake tan, like I have been here lately, I'm still like pale as a ghost, guys. But this is me with a slight tan. <laughs> um, this works a lot better for me during that time. And this, just the formula, everything, I'm loving it now. I don't know why it did not used to agree with my skin, but now it is and I'm loving it. I've also been showing my Locket Brightening Powder from KVD Vegan Beauty in the shade Petal Some Love too. I use this in my Summer Glow look. I still love that look. It's so beautiful. And also in our Elements collab where I did a fire look, I used this in that video as well. And it's just such a good brightening under eye powder. The lip products were a little tricky, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Um, I used both of the Tarte lip sculptors that I was planning on doing, the Gem and the Quest shade. I used Gem in my Allie and AJ inspo look, and then I used Quest in my Lion King's collab video. But that's the only time I use these. I just love to switch up my lips. Unless I'm like literally obsessed with a combo, I like to switch up my lips in every single look. So... These were a little bit harder for me to use. Um, same as the Dose Mickey Mouse uh, lipstick from Dose of Colors. Um, I use this in my Makeup Monday with the ColourPop I Love Sarah E palette. I used a brown liner underneath it and that's how I made it work. It is just such a pale peachy shade that it's really hard for me to wear this all the time. I did like it with the brown liner though. I thought it was a pretty moment. Let's talk about the glitter before I jump into the palettes. The Glitter and Glow I only used once. I absolutely love the look of glitter, but guys, it is really hard for me to branch out and wear these more often. I don't know why, because they're so pretty, but I did use this. Um, I used it like right above my wing on the Urban Decay Naked Heat Makeup Monday, and it's a beautiful shade. This was the Smoky Storm one. It's so pretty. I need to get them out more and use them more. I've had another one, Diamond Dust, sitting right here that I'm like, I need to put this in a look. I need to put this in a look, and then I never do. 
I don't know what it is guys, just single things. Okay, the last two things are the Through My Eyes ColourPop I Love Sarah E palette. Um, this beauty right here. As you guys know, I did a Makeup Monday using this palette. And I also used this palette in my Lion Kings collab. Um, I made sure I used a couple shades out of it for that. And the Urban Decay Naked Heat I also did a Makeup Monday on. You guys are probably going to see Makeup Mondays on a lot of the palettes that I pick for my Shop My Stash, which is completely fine. Um... But I also used this in my Lion Kings collab as well. It, I cheated a little bit because I think I literally only used ounce to highlight my brow bone and inner corner with it. So not really like full on two looks, but still I slightly used it in that collab. So in the Lion King look, so I'm going to say it counts. <laughs> and now moving on, we're going to shop my stash for my August picks. So for my base picks, I picked the Kaja Beauty Dream Puff Primer. It's like the Radiant Mousse Primer. Um, I recently tried this for the first time. Maybe I've tried it once since then, and it's just a product that's already getting lost. In my collection, it's very, like, it gives you, like, a nice glow across your skin, which is perfect for the summertime, so I thought it would be nice to get it in a shot my stash before the summertime is over. And that's kind of the same ordeal with the Stila Aqua Glow Serum Foundation. With this foundation, I feel like got it a long time ago and just kind of put it off. Um, I used it for a little bit. It doesn't wear amazingly on me, but when I'm doing looks and stuff like that, it's beautiful. So I might as well use it during days where I'm just filming and recording. It's not like I'm going somewhere. Um, I can use it up for those days before it does go bad. So that's why I picked it. You guys are going to see it a little bit later. Um, and also the double wear uh, concealer from Estee Lauder. I'm not a huge fan of the shade. It's a little too yellow warm for me, but... I think it's a decent concealer when it comes to the formula, but I just, I kind of just put it off and I do want to use it up before it does go bad. But moving on, because I know I recorded picking these out, going drawer to drawer to drawer. So after the primer, we go to my brow drawer and mascara drawer. And that is where I picked up my Tarte Man Eater Mascara. This one just has like a spiky bristle brush, but I do want to use it up before it goes completely bad. And um, I actually like the results I get with this one. I'm just, I hate spiky bristle brushes. So that's why like it takes me like a while to use those or like to even want to use them. And then I barely get any use out of them before they go bad. So that's what I'm working towards with this. Moving on to my bronzer contour, I actually picked up the Sculpt and Glow palette. This is the Nude Rose from BH Cosmetics. I got this a long time ago. It has like a banana bright powder, a pink highlight, a blush, a couple of bronzer contour moments, and um, I actually really like this palette. It's beautiful, but I never reach for it, and I've just gotten into this mindset of using single blush bronzer highlight so I never reach for this. So I'm hoping I can utilize this. This is the only bronzer product I picked out, so I'm hoping I can really get some use out of it. But for blush, I did pick out my NYX. This is the Sweet Cheeks Blush Palette. There is eight blushes in this. So there is a blush for every look that I will need for a while. Um, I am just gonna stick to the same role of using at least each of these twice during the next four weeks, but um, I'm really hoping that I can utilize this palette and play with these blush shades more because they are so beautiful and there's literally a shade for any look in that one little palette. I did go ahead and pick two highlights. Um, one of them is from Doll 10. This is their champagne. It's a cream highlight though. I am all about cream product life right now. As you guys know, I've been on like this cream kick. So I thought this, what a better time than right now. I got this in an Ipsy so long ago and it was like my favorite highlighter for so long. If you guys look at my old blogs, I literally wore this every single day. I loved it. So I thought it's time to break it back out. See what I think about it now. I'm into cream products. It's perfect. Um, but I also went ahead and threw in my Anastasia Amruzzi because this is one of my favorite highlights for the summertime. And I don't think I've even picked it up once this summer, which is insane. So yeah, I'm going to show it some love this month as well. You guys will now see me pick out my foundation and concealer. Um, I skipped powder this time, but we are going to do some lip products. Three Maybelline lipsticks because I used to be obsessed with Maybelline, Maybelline lipsticks and I have quite a few in my collection, but I never reach for them anymore. So we have 
uh, Pink Me Up, which is just like a beautiful, like neutral pink moment. It goes with so many different looks. Um, a bit of berry, which is a little bit deeper, but it's still like a purple. So I think it would be pretty for like a sultry look for summer. And then a full on red, red revival, which is like your full on like red summer moment lip. So I'm hoping to at least use these once each, but we'll see. <laughs> I didn't do too hot with the lip products from last month. Okay, next we have the eye stuff. So I picked out three palettes. I'm sticking to my summer box. For summer, I wanted to pick out three more palettes from my summer box. So I picked out the I Love Sarah E Dose of Colors. I love this palette for the summertime. These are the perfect shades for a sultry summer eye look. So had to use it. But I also grabbed the Dose of Colors, um, the Girls Quad from Desi and Katie with Dose. Um, because I never show these love anymore. After Frankation came out, it was like, goodbye. <laughs> I was done. So I want to show these some love in some upcoming looks as well. And I also grabbed the Kylie, um, I believe it's Under the Sea. It was her summer collection last year. And I love this palette. It is so beautiful. So I definitely want to use it before summer is up this year. And I'm going to still continue on with the single shadows because I want to make sure I'm utilizing them in my collection as well. So I grabbed my two and only two um, shimmer eye glazes from Kylie Cosmetics. These came out last year with the summer collection as well. And I literally have only worn them once each, which is so sad. So I want to try to get them back out. This one is Aquamama and it's a beautiful blue. And the other one is like a pretty gold champagne shade and it is called Ocean Child. This one would be definitely so easy to use and I should be using it a lot more often than what I do. I feel like if we were going places more this year, but COVID is just like, nope, you're staying home. So um, yeah, I don't get to really utilize products like that. But that is everything. Let me know down below if you're going to post a Shop My Stash or if you already have um, for July or August and I will jump over and watch yours as well. Um, yeah, I'm really liking it. I hope you guys enjoy this type of videos. I'm sorry if it's just me rambling on for too long, but I wanted to make sure I'm accountable and updating you guys on the products that I used last month, but I'm gonna try to get better at being as fast at it as I possibly can so we can move on and get to the good stuff of showing you guys what I'm going to try to use for the rest of the current month. But I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video.